making a video about BET and Tyler Perry, y'all. Listen, listen. Before we begin, the dog done jumped up on the couch. We back to normal, y'all. Before we begin, please don't forget to like this video. Like it now, like it later. Just like this video. If you black, you bet like this video, okay? Subscribe to my YouTube station. Okay, the button is like here, here, somewhere, okay? Follow me on my social media platforms. I'm Jovi Beauty on all platforms. And now let's get into this dope ass content about the dope ass content <laughs> like oh my gosh I needed a break but we're back so I'm back and look at this look at God the first video I'm gonna officially make because the other video I posted today I made that from uh, LA is about BET plus y'all I was minding my business saying what am I gonna make a video on today you know it's my first day back BET plus y'all Tyler Perry stood up the other day at the BET Awards when he won his award and basically said that while everybody looking at a, for a seat at other people's tables, he's in Atlanta trying to make his own. And we felt that in the gut. We felt that in the heart. Regardless of how you feel about Tyler Perry, him dressing up as Medea, what happened with Monique, all it, listen, regardless of how we felt about any of that, we felt that in the gut. You know, that's black all day, every day. And you know we all about the black ele uh, uh, elevation over here on the Jovi B Show. Okay? BET and Tyler Perry are coming out with a new streaming service, y'all, called BET+. Plus. Y'all know I love a semi-article, so let me read a semi-article to y'all. It's from BET, of course. In a new online streaming service. Everybody got their streaming services, y'all. So now we got a streaming service that's all black everything. All black everything. I love all black everything. All right. It's a new online streaming service. It's thousands of hours of f your favorite black content. It's the movies that you love. It's the TV shows that you grew up with and new series you can't live without. And it's exclusive originals from the best black creators. No commercials at all. Y'all, this is what I feel in my gut. They're saying so far, it's only over a thousand hours of black content. And you know, we just gonna keep growing. We just gonna keep growing. These content creators out here, these creators, we gonna get up on the streamers. Oh, shh. You think the Jovi B show can get up on? I would, maybe. <clears throat> okay, so over a thousand hours of black content, y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all don't even know. Well, y'all do know. That's why y'all here though, right? Because it's all black everything and y'all know what it is because we don't have the representation anywhere. We don't have, uh, you know, can we be the norm anywhere? I feel this. You know, BT be full of shit sometimes. I used to work there back when I was young. I was a little, little interning back there. I interned in BT twice back in the day when I was young, young, young. Y'all... So I, I, I mess with BT. I, I, I F's with the, with the B, with the E, with the T, okay? Back when, you know, the 106 and Park days. I'm glad that they're getting back into what we need. Mo uh, too many people want to be all-inclusive, and being all-inclusive excludes us. You know, I feel, and I was telling my cousin the other day, I'm like, you know, eat shit, even stuff. Because y'all know we got some brands reaching out to us, y'all. Listen. Anyway. I was telling them that my content and my brand is all inclusive of black people because we don't have that anywhere. Every, you know, I, I don't feel like we do. You know, there might be other creator or whatever, but it's like I want to look at it and I want to do things from a black perspective. You know, like we don't have that. We have a whole bunch of, you know, but yeah, we going we want to we want to be always be inclusive to other people and no one is ever inclusive to us. We have to be able to have something of our own. 
So I'm feeling this, boy. I'm feeling this. They showing, uh, they done showed a couple of options that'll be on there. You know, new, new edition story. Tyler Perry movies. I ain't even, I don't even watch Tyler Perry movies, but I ain't even mad, bruh. Uh, you know, Girlfriends and I'm going to be on there. Maybe we may actually, actually be able to get a reboot of Girlfriends. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we may actually be able to like really have something that we can look and see where where we are the content. We are the we aren't the tokens. We aren't in needing of other people to to make it interesting or to make it, you know, viable. Like somebody said the other day, it was a tweet that I saw that no, it wasn't a tweet. It was an Instagram post that I saw. And it was basically saying, matter of fact, I share, I saved it and I shared it. Follow me on Instagram, okay, so you know what I be up to. But I'm going to read it to you. It's from somebody named Maddie James. She said, black micro-influencers, people like me, and you know, should charge more because numbers is not the value priority. Demographics is sure you may have less followers than your white counterparts. You know, we'd be semi struggling, but most brands have no have no one on their team that knows how to speak to your audience. Girl, I told the brands that like, you, you, do you know how to speak to black people? Like, I don't know how to speak. Black Bye. <laughs> um, then somebody else wrote, speak Patrice wrote. Same goals for black writers who cover black celebs and pop culture, which don't get the same tra t kind of traffic as Riverdale or the Kardashians. Like facts, like we are a giant demographic. I tell people all the time, when I was at VidCon, I told this lady that, you know, sat next to me just to, you know, cause she apparently thought I was amazing, which I am, but whatever, that no, we are, as black people, we are the number one consumers of everything in the United States. Period. Clo everything. Clothes, television, everything. But nothing is geared towards us. And when something is actually geared towards us, we will fucking sup it up. Because it, it, it's like, it's insane. But it, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like trying to make us not realize how valuable we are. Like we are the top consumers of everything in the, in the United States, probably the freaking world, you know, and things are not directly geared towards us in a positive manner. We're, we're an add on. We're an add on. Even look at these elections. I don't want to talk about elections because I don't want to talk about elections. Um, but they want us everybody want us but they, they but they don't care to promote to us they don't care to talk to us they just think it's whatever whatever even though everyone needs us we are powerful okay period point blank and a story we are powerful in this world and i'd be damned if I don't acknowledge that and let people know, yes, I speak to black people. I say it all the time. I say I might have a, a I have, we do have some white subscribers and white followers. And you're cool. We're cool. As long as you don't come in here with no beef, ain't no drama. But this is a black space. So for you to, for us to feel safe, to be able to say how we really feel, to say what we really think, but, but, but without mass up on our fucking necks trying to tell us what we can and cannot say and what we can and cannot think, you know? So, sh salutes to Tyler Perry, salutes to BET, even though they Caucasian own now, but you know, we got to get what we got to get when we get it, you know, hopefully we'll get bigger and bigger and people will start seeing, people have already started seeing how bomb we are and that we are, we are the fucking demographic to go for. Forget everybody else because what black people do, everyone else will follow, boo. So you need to come for us. Don't be trying to trickle us down and trying to act like we leftovers. We ain't leftovers over here, baby. And BET and Tyler Perry is here, we here, we here. Don't judge my nails. You know, I need to get them done. But as always, we out of here. I'm glad this is my first video since I'm home, since I'm back home, y'all. I'm so happy. But as always, I hope you live your life like it's golden. Deadass, there's no other way to live it.